Hello everyone and welcome back to Microbiologist and Microbiology channel. As you all know, we are covering the subjects and related topics of pharmaceutical and medical devices mainly, but uh, here is the routine lab work of pharmaceuticals and any industry or company. In this, I will show you the lab routine work of microbiology lab and definitely it will also related to food industries as well or any fmcgs uh, industries so let's start our video and discussion before delaying anything or our time basically before uh, knowing any routine um, you should know the basic testing methods and some work related to micro lab so you will get to know the routine properly so here are some basic tests along with the frequency I mentioned here. Number one is the microbial limit test or bio burden of product. These both tests are similar as uh, we do the detection and enumeration of microbial growth in your sample. The frequency is each batch of product and raw materials as per their COAs or guidelines. Meaning if the certificate of analysis of any raw material has uh, not uh, included the microbial limit test or bio burden, so we will not perform it. Otherwise, the USB chapters uh, um, numbers are 61 and double one double one and BP and exure is 14B. The other test mentioned here is water testing and basically um, there are different kind of waters we are using in pharmaceutical and food industries as you can see like distilled water, deionized purified water or double distilled water etc. And we do the physical, chemical and microbiological testing. The microbiological testing included bio burden and endotoxin testing and endotoxin is uh, for that water which is used in injectables or parentals. The, another one is environmental monitoring or area monitoring. This kind of monitoring is very important for clean room and control environment. It included uh, swab testing, particle count, air velocity, passive or active air sampling for viable count. It also included personal hygiene that includes glove testing and uh, gown testing. So the frequency is you can make it by yourself uh, as per the validation of your area. In pharmaceutical, there are cleanliness classes. Uh, these are class A, B, C and D. For trial area, we use class A and B and class C and D included uh, non trial area. So the frequency depend on the class. This trial room, our frequency of work is almost daily and for non-estrial areas, we do monthly examination or detection of microbes, either viable or non-viable. We will discuss these topics in detail in this channel. The other tests we do in pharmaceutical industries are, or medical device industries are sterility testing and uh, the frequency or schedule is like each batch of a trial product another one is bioassay test and we do for each batch of antibiotic to check potency next one is antimicrobial activity test if the product has antiseptic or disinfectant properties so we do this test another one is endotoxin testing and in which we check the endotoxin of bacteria in estrile products and raw material which is using in estrile product. Another one is preservative efficacy testing and it is uh, just a new discovery and a new testing method which we do to check the effectiveness of preservatives that we have added in the product. We use cultures for this purpose. There is an another method that is disinfectant efficacy testing and this one is to check the effectiveness of disinfectant we use in production areas and microbiology lab or for any trial area. Another one is GPT that is growth promotion testing and we do this test for each received media and we use this received dehydrated media if the growth promotion test is up to the mark or, or complies as per the COA which we received uh, along with the dehydrated media. We use 
Kim's culture is strength for this purpose and also for preservative efficacy and disinfectant effectiveness testing we use the culture is strength. Now here I am going to share you the routine work of micro lab in pharmaceutical or any industry but it may definitely vary as per the laboratory work and the priority. So the first thing you know that when you come back to your work you have to set uh, the target and make your mind for what you have to test for today or any other work related to your job. By doing the time management, believe me, you will be comfortable with your work. So what we do usually is uh, the verification of instruments like incubator temperature records, uh, humidity and temperature record of micro lab rooms and vein balance check, pH meter, etc. Then as per the requirement and the work of testing, we do prepare media and buffer and also do sterilization. We do sterilization and drying of apparatus as per the need. Check the results uh, and do interpretation if any sample has completed its incubation period by counting or visibly examination. Visible examination we mostly do in a sterility testing. Also check the cleaning, washing and sanitization activity of micro lab along with the janitorial stuff. Any work performed in micro lab should be maintained in your logbook. So complete and maintain your logbook side by side. Manage your time and take samples of raw material and finished products along with the concerned department or maybe quality assurance and production in your company give the samples by themselves. But the good practice is you can and you should receive the sample and collect the sample by your own self. Now after collecting or receive the sample, start preparing sample preparation to perform any test. If there is any rapid test, so do it, like, uh, like endotoxin testing. After the interpretation of results, write the results and prepare your reports. The one more optional work is visit production area and counter check the activity there and guide personally if anything observe out of CGMP. At the end of the day, submit all reports and results to the manager of quality department or microbiology lab. If there is any corrective action, you must discuss it with your manager of microbiology lab or the quality manager. The routine work is not finished here. There are a lot of work a microbiologist is responsible for other than routine work. And these are He or she is a part of validation and stability studies of any product, facility qualification, area qualification, validation of equipment or machines, and calibration of equipment. They are also responsible for validation of methods, preparation of standard operating procedures as per the guidelines and ease, quality check of media means dehydrated media, perform growth promotion test of each media bottle received, meeting with suppliers to discuss quality matters, culture maintenance, reconciliation and grammar staining, in process checks of production if needed and involved in ISO and CGMP inspections either external or internal. In these kind of industries, microbiologist is also responsible to present all their work and schedule and discuss their schedule and if there is any requirement regarding the new product and the development so they must be acknowledged because for that reason they must be prepared themselves for new testing methods. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you get and understand the basics of microbiology lab work in pharmaceutical and different industries. If you have any query or question related to this video or our channel or you want to collaborate with us, so you can DM us through Facebook page. The link is in the description box. Subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon for more updates and thanks for watching this video.